Today, I'm gonna be following a little painting tutorial, but instead of using paint, I'm gonna be using slime. We're gonna be watching Bob Ross. If you don't know who he is, he's an amazing painter, the king of positive energy, good vibes, and happy little trees. We don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. Let's get into it. I'm all rossed up. Check out these curls. I got my dyes, my slime, and my freshly primed canvas. I've followed these tutorials before, but with paint. So I want to see how it turns out with slime. My prediction is that it's going to be amazing, but who knows? So we have a little blue. Just begin dropping in a happy little sky. So I'm going to grab a generous amount of slime. We're going for a nice sky blue. He also has some really nice paint brushes, but we're just using our hands. So for this painting specifically, I'm going to use snow butter. Now you might be asking yourself why I'm using snow butter. Compared to all of our other slimes, I think this is the one that's going to stick onto the canvas the most. It's my best bet. There we go. Wait, this is actually sticking on pretty nicely. I gotta make sure that I do a good job with my sky. All right, I think that's good right here. I'm gonna add a bit of a darker blue over here to give it some contrast. And that quick, we have a happy little background. Add a few speckles of this blue slime just everywhere. I'm gonna be really generous with it. Now I'm gonna go in with this lighter blue and attempt to blend my slime. Our sky looks good. It's looking really swirly. Now he, it looks like he's making some mountains. Maybe there's a little hill and he lives. There he is. Bob Ross is the best artist when it comes to making mountains. So I'm gonna dye this slime brown. All right, this is the color I have. It's not the best, but we're in a time crunch. So we're just gonna have to get started with these mountains. Let it happen, let it happen. And he's setting his like right about here. I'm gonna go in with this slime technique. We just wanna stretch it just like that. I'm gonna stretch it out this way. That quick, we have a distant little hill. And it looks like that mountain has a friend. It's a little tiny friend right over here. I'm feeling pretty confident. I kinda like the color now. It's really earthy. At first I wasn't a huge fan of this like gray, brown, I don't even know what it is, but I think it's growing on me. All right, let's stretch this part out. We don't want a hole in our sky. That's not part of this world. All right, let's keep going. What could that be? It's kind of like the, the mist in the distance. What is that? Maybe we'll have a little hill that runs like it. It's like a hill? Oh, okay, okay. So, so he's adding a hill. It's time to get our, our green and yellow out. We're gonna make a nice luscious hill. Gonna move a little faster. Add some brown, tone it down a bit. He has such a gorgeous color palette too. He's probably the best at color theory, that's for sure. Okay, this is looking like a really nice hill color. This is a little rolling hill. Can we just make him roll here? He did something like this. There you go. We gotta create a perfect landscape. And that gives us just a happy little hill. He always does this really cool thing where he like blends down. So I'm just gonna press it down just like that. This is looking beautiful, I swear. I thought that I would have some sort of problem, but you really just have to believe in yourself and believe in Bob. We got our nice little landscape going. Let's see what else Bob Ross is adding to this painting. It's like some concrete. Nah, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't add concrete to his paintings. We can just paint the whole remainder of this canvas. Okay, we can make some planes. We gotta get a darker shade. Add some more brown. Now he has this other hill. Look at that, I love these two green shades. Creates a really nice contrast with the painting. Now this hill has a very interesting little curve. It kind of goes like this. My mountain's a little too high because now I have all of this space and it looks like he's already like done with the painting. I think what I'm gonna do is fill up the whole thing with the mountains. Okay, we made more grass. Let's add it on to our painting. I'm gonna create another nice little hill. And now I'm, I am trying to follow exactly what he's doing, but sometimes you gotta improvise. Let's have some fun today. Let's put a happy little house right in here. It looks like Bob is now making a nice little house. I'm gonna use some of this slime we have right here. Actually, it has to be our darkest shade. Okay, we have our nice shade of black right here. Let's create the outline of our little cabin. And it's sitting right around here. So we're gonna have our roof. It's the top part of our roof. Now we have to add the structure of our home. It looks like his is a little taller, so we're gonna give it a little lift. Here we go, let's add another little roof. This is titanium white. For 
our walls, we're gonna be adding some nice white right here and I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna try this new blending technique that I just created. It's the only way I can really blend my slime. I've gotta give it some nice little swirls, just like that. I'm gonna make a nice little peak, raise my roof a bit. I think that looks better. I'm noticing that my mountain is being like eaten up by the sky. It's starting to drip down, so I need to hurry. We don't want this entire painting to fall apart. Let's put some lines in here, like boards. Look at that. Makes all kinds of old looking effects. Now to create those little wooden panels, I have a Pokemon card. It's kind of like little Minecraft blocks. You want to slice them like that. Now if you don't want to use your mom's credit card, just grab a Pokemon card and there you go. It works. Go back here on this back and let's start like that. For the roof, he adds a really nice shade of red. I'm gonna add some red to this. And now let's cover the entire roof with this red slime. Yeah, it creates some depth. Need to add some more red to cover this little black dot right there. All right, we have our nice red roof. Let's add some more of these little wooden panels with our nice Pokemon card. I'm gonna add another little red line right here so that our roof stands out. There we go. Now we have a roof. All right, it's time to do our trees. Bob Ross loves his trees. Give these trees names and stuff. Make them your friends. And he always makes one giant tree that really stands out. So I'm gonna make that giant tree stand right about here. All right, he adds another tree like right here. These two trees need a friend, so I'm gonna add another friend right about here. Another little arm, maybe? Like so. And then he adds some branches. This tree right here is gonna have one branch going like that. This wig is getting kinda itchy. Kinda wanna take it off, but <laughs> I can't disappoint Bob Ross. I need to look just like him. This branch is gonna go right here. Looks pretty awesome. Maybe there's a big tree, and he lives right here in front of the house. And then he adds another tree right next to our house. Isn't that a super nice way to create beautiful, beautiful little leaves on your tree? So it looks like he's starting to add some leaves to these trees. Luckily, I have this yellow already prepped. It's perfect for this. You know, happy accidents. He adds a ton of little bushes of leaves. Ooh, this is <laughs> I think this is where I might mess up. I gotta make sure I place them in all the right spots. Kinda looks like a mac and cheese tree. My leaves are looking a little flat right now. Bob Ross's leaves look like they have a ton of texture. So I'm gonna grab this piece of scrub daddy and kind of dab the leaves a bit. Oh, that's already looking much better. Now, instead of just one blob of slime, you can see how it's creating a ton of little leaves in these bushes. Maybe, maybe there's a fence right there. I like to do an old happy fence. Now he's adding a fence. So I'm gonna grab some of this gray slime, make it a bit darker. Make it easier for me. I'm gonna go ahead and add one long line like this. And now I'm gonna add another line right on the bottom of that one. There's another post. As these posts get closer to you, allow them to get bigger. We're gonna add our fence posts. We have our first one right there. I'm gonna space them out like that. We did it! Now I just need to add my signature. I'm gonna go in with some red. I'm just gonna do a nice big A. There we go. I think we'll call that one done from all of us here. Happy painting. Wait, I forgot so many details. I forgot the windows, I forgot the door. <laughs> How are they gonna go inside that little house? I'm gonna add one last detail. It needs a little door. <laughs> Looks very silly. All right, there you have it. I'm honestly super happy with how it turned out. Comment down below how you think this painting compares to Bob Ross's painting. And if this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll do this again with another tutorial. Bye guys.